Today on the channel, we've got one I'm personally very excited for. It is Legend 16, the Target exclusive, Rey Mysterio. here welcome back to the channel for another legend 16 unboxing and review and today we've got one i'm very excited for it is the Rey mysterio one night stand version but remember for all your wrestling figure needs be it mattel or jazzwares make sure you're hitting up ringside collectibles use discount code kyle save yourself 10 percent and of course we're gonna do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel we're gonna take a look at the packaging we're gonna talk about it we're gonna unbox it we're gonna talk about it we're going to see where it goes from there. And like I said, I'm excited for this one. This is the ECW One Night Stand version of Rey Mysterio. Uh, very iconic gear to me for whatever reason. as He's had tons of iconic gear over the years. But I've always really liked this one. This was always such a special moment. I always felt, loved those ECW One Night Stand pay-per-views. And of course, if you go back in the channel's history, we did do a top 10 Rey Mysterio figures of all time. And the Jax Ruthless Aggression version was my number one Rey Mysterio figure of all time for those. Keep a track at home. So I'm very happy to get that in elite form this go around. And we'll bring that one out here later on in this video for a little comparisons as we usually do. But without further ado, let's take a look at the packaging here. Of course, these shipping from Target right now if you put your pre-order in. So you might have it or they are hitting stores in select markets uh, we've seen as well. But we've got the True Effects, Legend 16, Elite, of course, Ray in the package. Glamour Shot, WWE, Ray Mysterio. Glamour shot on the side. Glamour shot on that side. And then, of course, the back of the packaging. We got the cross sell. We're going to unbox all these on the channel. We're going to rank them at the end of the week. We're also going to unbox the Chase Molly Holly. So stay tuned for that video in the near future. You get a glamour shot of Ray. And, of course, the big blurb for him. Let's read. Let's see what it says. But, oh, Ray Mysterio, don't call me junior. Titles, WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, World Heavyweight Champion. In the early days of the original ECW, Ray Mysterio introduced Mexican Lucha Libre to a fan base Hungry for exciting new styles of in-ring competition. And yes, we were. We were at the time. Uh, his matches against Psychosis stole the show. Catapulting his career into the mainstream, over a decade later, Mysterio returned to the Hammerstein Ballroom and successfully retained his first mention after championships uh, against the hardcore high-flying ECW original Sabu at ECW One Night Stand. And I'll never forget uh, Ray and Psychosis back in my tape trading days. Uh, getting the VHS tape of that. And that was the first time I had ever seen those two. Just blowing me away. And I remember thinking that the first time I saw that, that Psychosis was a heck of a lot cooler. And maybe there's something to say about that. His masks were pretty cool compared to Ray. But obviously Ray uh, went on to be a much bigger star worldwide, of course, than Psychosis did. But interesting to think back to that time frame back then. But without further ado, let's get old Ray out of the package here. See what all the fuss is about. And guess what? There's been fuss. I've heard it. See you later. I've heard the fuss. Uh, it doesn't look like he's locked in, so I always appreciate that. And there he is. We've got extra hands. You got that title belt. You got Ray. Very, very cool. Very cool, different version of Ray as I break the plastic. What is going on here? Very cheap plastic on this one, which is okay. It's all right. It's just holding him temporarily. I'm okay with that. And pull that out. We're off to the races. See you later. Goodbye. Let's start it off with some accessories as we usually do. And Ray didn't come to mess around. He came to play. He's got two fists of fury, two glove fisted hands, smaller Ray Mysterio hands we've seen a billion times. Yes, one billion with a B. That's how many times we've seen these hands over the years. Now we get the old title belt. It is the big gold belt, and I don't understand this. And we've seen this before. It seems like they're transitioning sometimes to the flat colored belts. I like the shiny plastic, almost the vac metal look. This being so flat, this really looks cheap. It looks cheap. I mean, it looks like something that should be with a basic. If you're going to put a title belt with basic, I understand something like this, but I'm not sure exactly why we're getting this in the elite line. Uh, are they really trying to save cost here? Is that what they're doing? I'm not sure. But it is a good-looking belt. It is what it is, but it just doesn't feel like the same belt that we're used to seeing. No, nowhere near the same belt. So that is a little bit of a miss there, if you ask me. Not a fan of that at all. And now we get old Rey Mysterio. Uh, booyaka, booyaka, a wise man once said. Now Ray's got the two open hands here. I like that a lot. And then he does got a robe. And like I said, we've never got a robe with Rey Mysterio before. So I think that is really, really cool. Uh, very shiny, glittery. No glitter, thankfully, on this one. I'm going to pull his hands off. There's one. And there's two. And I'm going to pull this robe off here so we can get a better look. Uh-oh, and he's got wrist gauntlets going on there. So you got to be careful when you take those hands off. You don't want to lose those. 
I'll pull one arm out, there it is, and then one arm there. I'm going to put that back on. And we're getting down to it. We're getting down to business here. We're going to put Ray back together. Very interesting Ray Mysterio. Like I said, the Ruthless Aggression version uh, came with a title belt, a kid's title belt back in the day. He is my favorite Ray Mysterio figure of all time. How will this match up? Uh, that's the million dollar question here. But we do get the robe. Like I said, very nice, soft, good robe. I just wasn't expecting this with the Rey Mysterio. Yes, he did wear this. And I remember it being kind of awkward and weird at the time. But it is still cool. It does uh, make the event, makes it a whole, I guess, for the ECW One Night Stand. Uh-oh. Just lost this one so that he did have, did have one on each hand. It was in the robe. I'm going to put that back on. That's all I need to do is lose uh, those bracelets there. So be very careful with those. You might uh, lose them just like I almost did. But we do got the hood on the jacket or the robe here. And then you got the Rey Mysterio graphics on the back. Looks really, really good. Really professional. A nice robe. I love that throw in. Because honestly, if they did, it was just this Rey Mysterio, I don't think anybody would have said, where's his robe? Where's his robe? Because it's not as iconic. So I love the deep cut aspect there of the Mattel team giving us that. Now we get down to Rey Mysterio. And this is Rey like we've seen many a times before. They get the most out of their mold with Rey Mysterio, as we know. We've had so many Reys, especially over the last couple of years. And basically at this point in time, they have two different versions of Rey Mysterio. you got the more modern one with the mohawk head uh, in the mask. And then you've got the old school one they've had since since Ray left for a while, and they're still using this. They're just rehashing over and over. I truly do feel it is time for a new Ray Mysterio head. We need a new head sculpt. We need him redone because we've seen those other ones just way too many times now, and now we're seeing it again here. Uh, I don't. It's okay. It's Ray Mysterio. I know what it is, but I hate the lips on this one. I hate the mouth and the lips. Uh, it just gets old. I, I, maybe it's because I've seen it way too many times. That's why I don't like it. But I do like the mask here. The black and red really does pop. Uh, the kind of bird on the side. And then what I really, really love on this one is the ECW on the back of the mask. I think that is tremendous. Looks really good. Of course, got the crown and the mask as well. But all day long, somebody hands you this head. You know it's Rey Mysterio. You know who it is. And uh, once again, everybody loves masked figures. Masked and face paint, those are the best sellers. That's why we get so many Ultimate Warriors. That's why we get so many Rey Mysterios. Because kids love masks. They love face paints. They also love hairy bipedal creatures, as we know. Uh, just like Kyle. Kyle's a big kid at heart. Uh, but then we get down to the figure here, of course, and we got the Eddie Guerrero armbands going on over here. We got his tattoos that we see at the time. 619 on the elbow pads and the Rey Mysterio mask on the elbow pad. I like the specific elbow pads to the character. Uh, if somebody took these off or whatever, you would know exactly who these go to because they look like Rey Mysterio. We do got the forearm uh, sweatband, whatever you want to call it, the glove extender. I always call it the sweatband because it's a separate piece. So technically, it looks more like a sweatband than part of the gloves. But we do have that going on there, of course. Be careful when you remove the hands. You might lose those like I almost did. You got the two gloved hands open. I think I'm going to leave the open hands instead of the fists on this ray. I think that's going to be my plan. And then you get the question mark on the front of the tights. And then you get the uh, bird insignias there, the Mysterio down here, the red and black attack going on down to the white soles on the shoes. Looks really, really good. And then, of course, you got the big back tattoo on him. I just feel like this is a younger version of Ray in the face. And obviously, this was younger. But I felt like he was a little older in this one, where I uh, think of this head sculpt as young, young Ray. I think of this as like East, early ECW, WCW, AAA Ray. And then I almost think we need another head that's just a little bit older into his WWE career. But maybe that's just me. Uh, but man, does he look good here for sure. Got the Mexican tattoo on the stomach as well. Articulation-wise, same as all the other Mattel elites. Of course, the head side to side, back and forth. Decent amount of up and down, enough to be dangerous, we'll call it. We do get the ab crunch, do get the waist articulation. Thigh cut, of course, double jointed knees. He can do the old splits, the big old Rey Mysterio Spider-Man splits. You do get a boot cut, you do get ankle articulation back and forth. Of course, the arms go all the way around, you do get a bicep cut. Double jointed pinless elbows, you know I'm here for that all day. And then the hands are removable. So very, very nice Rey Mysterio here. This is going to be one of the top ones for Series 16, I think, when the rankings do come out. Uh, there's just no way. This mask is awesome. This character is awesome for this time frame in the One Night Stand era. I was here for it all day long. Ringside collectible stand. Of course, use discount code Kyle. Save yourself 10%. Make sure you get the WWE ones. But he fits like a glove right there. And then we got old Rey Mysterio. We got the Ruthless Aggression version. And I don't know what it is. I mean, obviously, they are the same gear going on here. But something about this Ruthless Aggression one, just the way it feels, the way it looks, it just is perfection for Rey Mysterio in this brand of action figure. I know the majority of you guys love your Mattel Elites. I do just as much. I do love them. But I can appreciate figures of old where not everybody is that way. And I get it. You like your Elites. don't want anything else in the past. How could you ever play with those dog toy LJNs? I, I've heard it all, of course. But looking at it as a whole, I still... 
I don't know. I don't know. I just love this one a lot. I love the open mouth on here. I just love how this one looks, how this one presents. But that being said, I, I do admire this one, especially with the soft goods jacket. We never got that from Jack. So this one, if I had to redo my top 10 list, I have a feeling this guy would have inched into the top 10 list. And I'm not sure if he'd be number one. Maybe down the road, I'll do it over again. Give it some time. Think about it. We'll do. I'm sure there's going to be 100 more Rey Mysterio figures over the next five years. Anyways, we could do that top 10 list all over again. And we might have to for some of these big hitters. Uh, Ultimate Warrior, some very similar uh, circumstances as well. But a great Rey Mysterio. Have to think he might be the top one in this set. We'll see what happens, see how it shakes out. But I do think it will be popular. Of course, Rey Mysterio always sells. Even if kids don't like Legends or know anything about Legends, they know Rey Mysterio, they will pick this one up. So I do think this will be a good seller at your local Target store. So there it is. There's Legend 16, Rey Mysterio. What are your thoughts on this one? All in, all out. Do you absolutely love it? I think the robe really sets this one off. I think that's what brings this one really over to the hump, to the proverbial next level. But you guys let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. Check out the Patreon for even more videos, bonus content, exclusive content, bonus videos, Q&As, pizza reviews, you name it. There's a lot going on over at the Patreon. And best of all, you do support the channel. You can also support the channel at ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. And then don't forget about social media, SirPaul64 is where you'll find me over on Twitter, Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson. So for Rey Mysterio, One Night Stand Edition, I am Kyle, and I'll see you guys all real soon.